Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to QNAP live broadcast from our headquarters uh, here in New Taipei, Taiwan. I'm Vazon and here today with us is our product manager, Richard. Hi. Hi, welcome. And Richard today prepared for us uh, the topic of QDDU, yes. the deduplication technology that is coming uh, with the hybrid backup sync 3 yes. that we have and the QTS441 yes. is the latest releases that we have and it's a very interesting technology and we want to give you a introduction and a more detailed insight of what it does and what it is and why we have it here. Mm -hmm. So as you know it's about the data deduplication. We can reduce uh, the size of the data and dedupe the data direct view. Yes. Right? So to give you, like, uh, we have this Wikipedia, mm -hmm. you prepared this Wikipedia idea of mm -hmm. uh, the highlights that we have like, uh, on backup. Yes. So the backup Wikipedia, uh, our backup, we have a lot of people asking these questions and they want to make the difference if whether the backup uh, synchronization and uh, replication are the same or what's the difference. So we will give a short introduction, no, actually mm -hmm. not that short, we will try to uh, make the difference and see what's the difference among these three. Yeah. We have the data deduplication technology or QDDUP how that uh, explaining how it reduces the backup and restore time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the QDDUP extract tool which is a tool that can be installed in different OSs and for, back, uh, for making the backup data visible and portable. By mm -hmm. portable we will talk more about that how we can use this uh, tool uh, into more detail and how it will help us actually move the data very fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, also we'll give like one or two scenarios on QDDU for uh, how and why it will be useful. Also Richard will uh, guide us through uh, two video demo or one video demonstration. One, demo. one video demonstration. Yeah. And uh, how to use the this, how to make use and take the advantage of the yes. the duplication technology with the extract tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as mentioned earlier, a lot of people have this concern, these questions: well, what is backup? What is synchronization? What is the replication? And what should I choose? Which one should I choose? But uh, we say that these three things they are different and uh, based on the way you want to use it. And mm -hmm. so. What, what, what do you mean by backup, by synchronization or replication? They, they mean different things, even though they can go through similar processes, but have different uses. So, for example, for backup, uh, we see the backup and restore are kind of inseparable. Yeah. Because you can extract your data, and uh, after that you have to restore it to view the file. Yes. So what we mean by that is, uh, say for example, we have this office which is in Taipei, and the other office that is in Kaohsiung, the other uh, one office. And uh, we have these three steps over here. And step number one, we have three different files, right? right? A, B, C, yeah. Yeah. And on the second step, we want to back up these files from this office to the to Kaohsiung. To Kaohsiung office, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we do that. And it, once we back up, it becomes in a different uh, format, which is a folder. Yeah, you will pack it. It's, it's a package. Mm -hmm. And then after that, so in Kaohsiung Office, if you want to see the files or the content of this package, you have to restore it. That's why we say backup and uh, restore are inseparable. Yes. Because uh, you have to move. So you move the files from one place to the other, you restore it so you can view it. This is the backup part. Mm -hmm. But talking about synchronization is another thing because backup is a one-way thing. Yeah. Uh, synchronization is a two-way road, yes. which meaning that the same data can be in two different places. So for, for example, uh, we have Taipei office and Kaohsiung office. Again, in the first step, we, uh, we have ABC. And once we sync these two places, uh, we can have ABC, uh, like in step two, in one side, and ABC again on the other side and then you synchronize it and every change that you do for example in step 2 to step 3 you mm -hmm. change file A to something X the same one uh, the same change will happen automatically on the other side in Kaohsiung office mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. if you have from ABC uh, in Taipei office you have XBC automatically since it's synchronized you will have the changes on XBC 
And uh, similarly, if you do it from the other side again, so culture and office, you decide to change everything to X, Y, Z, then you will have on the type A office X, Y, Z. So whatever change happens on this side, it will happen on this side also. So whatever happens on this side will happen on this side also. It's a two-way thing. So mm -hmm. whatever change does one place affects the other place. Yeah. But uh, talking about replication is similar, but it's a one-way road. So I change it here, doesn't mean that it has to be changing over there, like uh, the other one was, was uh, with the synchronization mm -hmm. with the sync. So we have the first step again, A, B, C. Second step, we have A, B, C, and it replicates the same files A, B, C in the Kaohsiung office. But once I decide to do a change in the type A office, uh, I will leave X, B, C, but uh, the replication uh, won't change, right? It will change. It will change, yeah, replication. Because it is the one way from Taipei to Kaohsiung. Yeah, from Taipei to Kaohsiung, it yeah. will change. But <coughs> once we decide to do the data modification from the other side, yeah. like in Kaohsiung office, then mm -hmm. it won't change yes. back to the Taipei office, yes. right? So it's one way, but you can you can decide which which way to choose, right? Yes. So you if you decide to keep the Kaohsiung office affecting the Taipei office, you can do that side. Or if you want to say Taipei office only, you mm -hmm. can uh, not to, to affect or not to affect the other side. That's uh, to you, up to you, and whichever way you decide to do so. Mm -hmm. So for example, you are the center. You are mm. the guy that needs to do more changes mm. and key leave the original content on one side. Yeah. So you're trying making some testing, some some uh, editings that yeah. you might not want to lose the original content. Mm -hmm. You can do it in one side, and yeah. then again, you know, keep it on the other side. Yes. So this is <coughs> kind of uh, the differences that we have on backup, uh, synchronization, replication. and replication. Yes. Right. And uh, we just wanted to give a short introduction of what we mean, and later on we will go step by step to the CUDA dupe and mm -hmm. how we uh, utilize this technology on our services in the QNAP NAS with a hybrid backup sync 3. Because this is all integrated in hybrid backup sync 3, which mm -hmm. levels up, takes the backup uh, solution one step ahead as it is a disruptive technology and mm -hmm. we will talk also about this technology like how disruptive it, it is but we see that for example for backup we see the pp here for backup as mentioned copy cannot be accessed mm -hmm. and replication the copy can be accessed and on the synchronization copy and the original are the, the same, same. Yeah. right and then we see the size of the copy on backup is goes smaller, replication stays the same, and synchronization stays the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the backup, is uh, the, the size of the copy is smaller thanks to the hybrid backup sync 3. Yeah, uh, because maybe compression and dedupe. Yes, because yeah. of the compression rate yes. ra ratio. <coughs> and then we have the format of the copy. So in backup is going to be different because of the same reasons uh, we have now with the QDO dupe technology, while in replication the synchronization will stay the same. And uh, do we have uh, instant access to this? For example, for backup we don't have instant access, as we mentioned in the first slide explaining the difference of these two, mm -hmm. is that the backup and the, uh, the restore are inseparable. So you first have to restore it to yes. have uh, direct access to it. But with replication and sync, is, since it is almost the same thing, you mm -hmm. can always have. And the direction goes for backup goes one way, replication goes one way, and as mentioned, the synchronization goes both ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have different scenarios, like the amount of data that, uh, for example, for backup is mostly used for large, huge yes. amounts of uh, data when we try to uh, back them up. So the data is packaged, stored, and can be restored while, uh, for example, when there is a disaster or yeah. something uh, on event, uh, unlikely events uh, yes. that you don't want them to happen to you. Mm -hmm. But it's a good way, and we highly recommend all our customers, clients, and every QNAP NAS user to go and take advantage of the Hybrid Backup Sync 3 on backup, as uh, it will save you time and money. 
And also we have the replication, the story, the scenario, share the data to the remote location. So example, you want to share to another branch office yes. and the modification of data will not change from the original data. Mm -hmm. And the synchronization, share and edit data together from two different offices if you are working simultaneously on the same project, but you have different teams in different locations, you can work on the same project together using the uh, synchronization service which is also available on Hybrid Backup Sync 3. So data duplication technology, what it is, what does it do? Well, as until now maybe you might have gotten an idea that it reduces the backup and restore time. And uh, we will focus now more on this backup uh, mm. uh, solution that yes. the uh, provides see. today, mm. right? So it reduces backup file backup and restore there won't be an issue for you anymore so but before going there we have uh, talked also to people mm -hmm. and we've seen that there are a lot of issues and uh, people encounter while just trying to do the backup right yes so there is a <coughs> transmission time it takes too long and the bandwidth resources are being exhausted you're consuming it for a long time as for example we know that uh, backup is large data mm -hmm. ba and the backup takes too long to achieve the intensive backup cause of and uh, might be at risk of the data loss and uh, without the data uh, reduction or pre-processing will cause increased storage cost mm -hmm. so because uh, most of the uh, enterprises they use the storage based on demand and yes. it's costly yes so w the duplication will be transformational technology in the near future. Actually, QNAP is very disruptive and uh, very uh, at the for, uh, forefront of uh, this technology. As we see data, the, the duplication in the Gartner uh, chart here, we see that it is quite ahead and it's one of the uh, uh, forecoming technologies. It's one of the disruptive technologies and one of uh, the most uh, advanced technologies that we're going to have amongst all, all the other uh, things that we see here. So by the technical point of view, we see that the block level analysis is uh, removing data for final levels. Yes. And they, we can see the cross file comparison instead of single file compression uh, uh, that we had before. So yeah. we have now, we, we can do the cross file cross compression. File, yeah. And there are uh, different and many scenarios like tens mm -hmm. and hundreds maybe of scenarios that can be used but we decided to talk more and focus on these three major scenarios one is the backup application mm. so this backup application just like our hps3 yes yes hps3 yeah and virtual tape uh, library this is about the you will uh, uh you will detect your data before archiving to tap Okay. Yeah. Before archiving them into a tape yes. or something that you want to remove them, you yeah. will dedupe the data. You want to save the storage space of tap. Of tape. Okay. Yeah. So it will <coughs> have a dedupe application, mm -hmm. block level data. Yes. Uh, dedupe, and we have the storage server as yeah. well. Yeah. You just put the your backup data to the storage server. You will do the duplication to save the space. Okay. Yeah. So these are the three major scenarios. I'm sure yeah. there are different ma mm -hmm. major scenarios in this one. Yes. And uh, so data redu reduction and small is fast. It is. We have tested it mm -hmm. and we have seen it. It actually provides three advantages yes. with the data duplication as uh, it is a block level based uh, mm -hmm. data management and the duplication on backup it will uh, reduce the bandwidth so you don't have to spend a lot of bandwidth mm -hmm. it is space saving and it supports m multiple cloud services if i'm not wrong uh, until now it's 22 cloud yeah. services yes, but this number will keep well, increasing keep it, yeah. right yes so it has a lot of advantages <coughs> so we tried it actually if you see in this uh, slide uh, the upper part there the uh, we have a vm image size and then once we decided to dedupe the file it's almost half of it it's like it's going from 1548 mm -hmm. to 7.59 gigabytes once it is deduped mm -hmm. and the, we see the compression rate is 2.04 to 1. Yes. So this is quite fast and uh, it, it is also because of the QDedupe block level 
uh, uh, that the Kudaduk technology provides, as you can see on the uh, this side, uh, by the end of the slide here, before and after. So it will recognize the changes on the blocks and replace only the changed blocks. Yeah. So it will keep the file and the rest of the blocks as they are. So they, they, it will be doing the source side data deduplication framework. Yes. So source-side data duplication technology is in line with the modern enterprises mm. and why we say that? We know that most of the enterprises are using uh, like storage space based on demand. Yes. And uh, the source-side data duplication will provide them this opportunity to reduce the size mm. because if a company is actually using the uh, cloud service, mm -hmm. they have to pay for the storage they use and if they keep increasing the storage size they will keep increasing the cost but what if they if they if we tell you that we can actually give you uh, reduce the size of your uh, files mm. and keep the same amount of uh, the storage space mm -hmm. so that's why the source side data duplication does and the dedu technology so it will uh, reduce the size it will do the changes based on blocks and you don't have to increase the capacity of the storage because that's also costly so it's highly compatible with different uh, backup destinations and reduces backup storage space and data transmission that way as mentioned mm -hmm. so and also we've seen that uh, data duplication is quite effective on, on the compression ratio as uh, it, it surpasses the traditional uh, data reduction technology as we've seen for example for file compression we have the comparison level and scope of the byte or single file we have the file specific disk area and the block specified disk area for the data deduplication mm -hmm. so uh, the file uh, it will have to do the uh, when you do the backup you do some changes it will replace the whole file mm -hmm. so that's also takes more time and if it's in large amounts it takes um, higher bandwidth time and everything but if we go on block level, it will identify the small changes on the blocks and replace just the small change blocks. And it is very suitable for both single file and cross files mm -hmm. using the data duplication. While the other two uh, have a smaller data compression rate, we see that the data compression rate of the, the duplication is 5 to 1 and it goes up to 20 to 1, yeah. right? And it's a huge difference if you compare with two to five one that they have the traditional uh, data reduction technology mm -hmm. so well. Yeah. That's why we believe, and that's why it is actually among uh, the most disruptive technologies that the duplication it goes the storage on block level backup solutions. And uh, to make this easier for our users, mm -hmm. to provide them uh, the tools to have access to this not only for the, the duplication for for uh, only in the NAS but they can use it also for different workspaces yes yeah, which is uh, PC PC yeah. they can use it even for Windows. cloud services like uh, yeah, Amazon, Amazon uh, yes AWS uh, workspace workspace mm -hmm. they can install the extra tool we mm -hmm. also we, we can uh, we also have uh, some video that we did in the past about that yes and this is a very efficient uh, tool that QNAP uh, provides for the duplication technology and uh, with it once uh, you do the use the uh, extract tool you have to have the QDFF file extension yes it's a shared list file is it? Uh, it's true is to exchange this file to exchange this, this file. folder yeah yeah so it will uh, use this extension and actually the storage format for the, the duplication data mm -hmm. backup data is the duplicated in block level yeah and it's unable to see the file directory structure and file contents mm -hmm. of this and the file needs to be extracted before it can be accessed yes so this uh, will be actually very efficient and once you see the QDFF you know that you are actually in the QNAP now to actually have this uh, on the QDDUP uh, technology. Mm -hmm. So the extract tool makes the QDFF restore so you can restore the QDFF files Yes. And they w once you use the extract tool. So if you back up some of the files it, and you move them with the QDFF extension and then you want to open it somewhere else in another 
wh wherever you backed up the, this uh, data mm -hmm. or these files, then you, you install the CUDA dupe extract tool and then you can open it, not only that you can open and restore it, but you can also view the files before mm -hmm. uh, restoring them. You mm -hmm. can see what is the content of each file and you can actually choose whichever file you want to restore and mm -hmm. which ones you don't want to restore, yes. right? And it is compatible with most of the, uh, it is compatible actually with all the uh, uh, OSs that we know for PC, we have for Windows, you can have the extract tool for Windows, you have the extract tool for Mac, and you have uh, the Ubuntu. extract tool for Ubuntu, mm -hmm. Linux based OS, and uh, yeah, and it also has a single folder file restoration as I mentioned, one by mm -hmm. one you can choose whichever you want to, whichever you want to. And it is also very useful, very user friendly. We also tried it on using the Amazon workspace, install the QDD extract tool, and mm -hmm. you can use it also there. Yes. And uh, yeah, this part is that we have the USB, you can use also the USB drive to move the QDF fi files. You can take it uh, from another NAS. Mm -hmm. You can take it from the NAS after using the hybrid backup sim for mm -hmm. backup. You can take the files and uh, files that have been, for example, uh, here, say 10 terabytes with yeah. the QDFF extension, it reduces to one, almost to 2.5 terabytes, mm -hmm. which is a huge, huge change. And it can fit in a single USB. Mm -hmm. And you can go and use it in another device Yes. or you can use it uh, say in your PC but for that uh, QDFF you need to install the extract tool and then you can restore again the original file of the 10 terabytes but while you're moving it it is 1 to 2.5 terabytes and you can see the, the big difference that the QDFF file extension provides for you mm -hmm. it is mobile it is very easy easy to use and is very efficient actually mm -hmm. So the backup data can be restored also in different places, yes. can be taken everywhere. Mm -hmm. Say we have uh, these uh, scenarios or this uh, hierarchy that w to explain how we can actually use a data backup. We have the first row is access from a local NAS and the second row access uh, from a remote, remote. NAS. Yeah. And actually the end, uh, the last part here is carry and use from different OSs. One is Tokyo with a Windows OS, Mac OS yeah. in New York and Ubuntu Linux. So it's the same idea with the QDFF, but from the first part, I want to say that access from a local NAS, it can be, it can be used, for example, from uh, same NAS in the same, mm -hmm. pla uh, same place, two same different NASs. Yeah. So we are in the same office, we are two different departments, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And we can actually take advantage of the data deduplication uh, backup from one NAS to the other NAS mm -hmm. between departments. It's going to be very fast. Or also you can use the access from remote NAS as we had the Taipei Kaohsiung offices. Mm -hmm. We can have two different offices and uh, we, c we can use the backup or restore the uh, solution. We can use the backup part for the QDFF and uh, the mem other team members at the Kaohsiung office can mm -hmm. actually access the QNAP and also can do the cloud, actually can uh, backup to the cloud, yeah, you see. and uh, mm. Amazon S3, Amazon, yes, yeah. Yeah, Amazon S3, and uh, you can actually restore it with the extract tool again, for as you can have access from the cloud. Mm -hmm. Similarly, you can have the connection of Safe Samba mm -hmm. and uh, NFS or FTP, and you can use the QDFF files here, as I mentioned earlier, from your PC with whichever OS you have, yes. but you have to install the the extract tool mm -hmm. yes. to restore them. So these are different scenarios, different ideas, but one scenario from QDD would be, for example, for IT staff. Mm -hmm. We know usually our IT, even our company and many large corporations, yes. IT staff need to back up a large amount of yes. data, right? And it takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Some of them takes days. Mm -hmm. some and some it, so the backup has to happen even after the working hours mm -hmm. and then for say for example you come back to work and the backup still hasn't finished yes and it's draining out the bandwidth mm -hmm. and it's like oh I need the bandwidth I need to work yes but yeah could the dupe will help you with that because it will reduce the size mm -hmm. it will make it faster and the backup will happen 
once you know, overnight, for example, mm -hmm. and once you come back to the office, you have your bandwidth all for yourself. So this is uh, very useful, and the backup also can be stored with multi-version and on limited storage spaces, mm -hmm. so you can have different versions of, uh, of uh, the backup. Yes. And uh, another scenario would be for other users that want to reduce the cost of the backup, so reduce the risk of data loss and cost, so both they can do it uh, if the user wants to backup the data on the limited storage, say for a hard, say hard drive or another mm -hmm. external device or even the cloud as I mentioned earlier, because it is expensive. Yes. So you, you use the cloud, you run out of space mm -hmm. of the cloud if you're not using the Dedupe technology. Mm -hmm then uh, you have to buy more space, right? Yes. But this is providing you the opportunity to cut in half mm. the size of the files, so you will have extra space on the cloud, actually, or even in your hard drive. So this is very useful and is uh, very cost-saving. And uh, for enterprises, actually, it is very cost-beneficial to save more money and time. So maybe you now what I've been trying to say, we uh, come to this point where Richard actually will explain everything what I've been trying to say. And yes. I don't know if I made myself <laughs> quite clear here. Okay. <laughs> but the clearest point of uh, this whole presentation will be what we will show on the yeah, video. Yeah, okay. I'm going to demo how to create a okay. breakout job with QtDupe. Okay, this is the new UI of our HBS3. Yeah, and you can see how to, uh, you can see here, you can download the Qt Extract tool on our overview page also. Okay, I'll start up my demo. You can create the backup job here. And I want to backup this folder. Yep. Yeah, okay. And for saving time, so I backup to the local NAS. Local NAS. Okay, and you can see so you have the all the cloud services yes. here that we've been talking about. We can there support. Are, yeah, we can support all yeah. of these. But for this time, I yeah, just do the to local now. Yeah. It's gonna be faster. The idea remains. Yes. So I back out to homes and I add a new folder for demo. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I back out to homes. Demo test. Demo test. Okay. okay. I rename this job. Maybe just demo. And this this day. All right. Okay. And I select backup now. So if you don't select that one, it won't. We can out. use schedule. You can use. We can use scheduling. Yes. Here. Okay. But for this time, I just backup one time. All right. Okay. And here is a uh, QTube. You can choose, you can enable it and disable it, but this in feature is very useful. It's more sorry, more, more useful. before it's enabled. Yeah, as it also gives you the description here mm -hmm. that is the duplication compression to reduce the backup size, improve mm -hmm. transfer speed and storage, and yes. everything we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. And create right. it. Okay. Uh, because okay. for saving time, so I created okay, yeah. the job previously. And this is the same data I pick up. So you can see the report. Mm -hmm. This I select to do back up the file. All right. uh, the original size is 13 the five gigabytes. Yeah. And after the duplication, you can see we only have gigabyte. size oh. here. So is uh, useful to reduce your data. Yeah. Yes, so, okay. And I want to demo the QD extract tool. All right. Yeah. This is a QD extract tool. Okay. And we can use the Semba to connect to our NAS. All so right. I connect to this NAS <coughs> directory. Okay. And you can see uh, I back up to Homes. Yes, and hey, okay, the demo is uh, the job I created is yeah. finished, so we can select it. Uh, demo test. Yes, yeah. you can see a QTFF folder. 
Mm, so okay. you just need to open this one. And you can see here. All right. Is there are some movies and picture and you can preview pre preview this picture directory and select what you want to restore. restore. Yeah. Maybe just like this one. You can restore it mm -hmm. to this this PC. Alright. Yeah. Can you select yeah. Okay. Oh is it okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can see here. Sorry. Remember the name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> HPS logo. Well, oh, sorry. Do you have so many HPS? Yes. You are the HPS. Can you see HPS3? Okay. HPS3. Sorry. Three logo. Yeah, this yeah. one. And you can restore to your PC. Mm -hmm. And you can see here. Okay. And the same QDF file as we mentioned also can be moved by USB and yes. all those and use the extract tool mm -hmm. to restore it the same way as we you did yes. right now. Yes. Okay, okay, it's my demo. So this is the demo. I think we also reached the end. Mm -hmm. So we can just do a short uh, conclusion on uh, what we've been talking about. So we have the HPS3 beta program that yes. is kind of finished, finished now. Yeah. And uh, we also have made some uh, statistics more than 90 percent of the hbs3 mm. users can meet their demands and they are happy yes. with the hbs3 <laughs> yeah. and they take advantage of the qdd technology mm -hmm. because it's highly uh, acclaimed mm -hmm. it's uh, highly wanted yes. people are willing to know more about it they are mm -hmm. interested in getting it, the attention of everyone and it is safe safe cost uh, mm -hmm. saves cost it's the space Stops. storage mm. space and it's a so it's a solution that the QDD extract tool completes it. It's like you can restore everything on your PC directly yes. as well. So this is like the ultimate solution on even for the QNAP NAT mm -hmm. and your computer. Mm -hmm. So you can have this uh, combination of all mm. of all this together and make the best out of HBS three. That's why I say people are happy with it. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, it is also very flexible as it supports a lot of cloud services. Mm -hmm. uh, also object-based uh, cloud services and it can use backup with encryption mm -hmm. so data is safer on the public cloud so yes. you can have a double uh, double protection for yes. yourself mm -hmm. so yeah thank you everyone thank you and go check mm -hmm. also our QNAP NASAs for uh, on our website that we are QNAP.com and you can make the best out of the duplication technology using the QNAP NAS Mm -hmm. So QDDoop is your best choice yes. and uh, QNAP NAS is the ultimate solution to make the best out of this choice. So yeah, this uh, we came to the end of this uh, presentation for mm -hmm. today. And if you want to see this video or any other videos like this, just go to live.qnap.com if you want to know more about QNAP products. And if you want to know more about uh, QNAP NAS and other devices that we are, just go visit our QNAP.com. Uh, website and you have all the information over there and I'll thank you everyone and we'll see you next time thank you thank you bye bye